machine. <laughs> Hi everybody, Florida's Bluest Angel here, and I have a haul video for you guys today. Um, I got a whole bunch of different collectibles, mostly Funko, um, but I did get a few other things. So I'm gonna start off with the non-Funko products first, and then move my way into the Funko. So the first thing I got is my first Cos Baby um, from Hot Toys, and it's a Spider-Man um, Iron Spider um, from Avengers Infinity War. It's light up and magnetic, but um, I've been wanting a cause baby for a while, and then after I watched um, Franklin F.M. McGinnis um, unbox his Thanos one, I really liked it, and um, I actually forgot about him for a while until I saw his video, and then I decided to look him up on Macari, and I saw a whole bunch, and um, I really liked the um, Spider-Man one. I really want a Groot. I have Groot in my likes right now and I'm thinking about buying him soon. Um, but I definitely like the Spider-Man and um, decided to get it. So here he is. Super cute. He's been hanging out on my refrigerator um, for a while. Um, but he's super cute. A little dusty. But I, I really like um, the way these cause babies look. Um, I also like it. There's a rocket too that I want to get as well. Actually, I, I'm falling in love with all of them. <laughs> like Thor. They have a Thor one that looks pretty neat. Um, even Iron Man looks pretty cool. But Groot is definitely the next one on my list to get. But I really like this Spider-Man. And here he is with his light up eyes. A little bright. It's really cool. I really like this. And I th thought it was neat that it was magnetic and that it lights up. So that definitely sold me on that. But definitely cool um, little figure. I definitely can't wait to get some more. So that's the first thing that I got. And then the next thing that I got was... Um, I've been really into the cute pocket lately. If you've been watching my channel, I really like the cute pocket figures. Um, so I really wanted to collect all the Harry Potter ones, and, um, I finally got Ron. Um, on Macari, usually they're around 30 to $24, but usually it's in not including shipping. Sometimes the $30 ones include shipping, but I was really waiting for a good price, and, um, somebody was selling Ron for $25 free shipping, so I thought that was a pretty, um, good deal and you could get them on box lunch as well but um i have the five dollar shipping um so it would be like well thirty dollars through box lunch so i saw that twenty five dollars free shipping was a good deal not to pass up so here he is there's ron outside of the box he looks really cool i like that they gave him his broken wand and I just love the way these figures look. The last one I need is Hermione. I'm hoping Box Lunch has a 30% off sale soon. And then I'll probably get her on there. And then I'll finish the first set. And I saw on a taco mode that um, there's a second set coming out around July. And it's going to have Professor Snape. Um, a new Harry with um, Hedwig on his arm. Which I really want to go with my... The Hot Topic exclusive Funko Pop, I thought that would be cool. So I want the Snape and the new Harry. And they have a new Hermione, but I don't really like the new Hermione. So I'm just going to get the old one, or the one that's out now, and just get that one. But also sticking with cute poskets, I got my first Disney one, which is pretty much the main Disney one that I went in. And it's Mulan, my favorite Disney princess. So I love Mulan. And um, when I saw... Her cute pocket. I knew that I really wanted it. Um, so I saw a good price for her as well. On. Um, Makari. So I jumped on it. Super quickly. And she finally arrived um, today. So I'm super happy to have her. 
She's so pretty. I just love the way she looks. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get any more. I was going to get the petite one of Jasmine to go with my Aladdin. But I really like these ones. So I might get, I don't know if I'm going to get a, the big Jasmine or the small Jasmine to go with my Aladdin. Unless I decide to make a, a bigger Aladdin one and not the petite version, then I'll just get two of the big ones for that. Anyway, those are my cute baskets. Super cool. really like them. Okay, moving into Funko. Um, we got the one a day with Pikachu, one lucky day, which is super cool. I really wanted this one. The new one just came out, the, the rainy day Pikachu, but I really didn't want that one. But I like this one, the lucky day Pikachu. I thought it was super cute. And I love that he's dressed up as like a little leprechaun. It's super adorable. And I thought that would be cool for St. Patty's Day. And um, just a really cute figure. Um, I probably get the June one, I think. This one I uh, um, that looks interesting from the silhouette. So I can't wait to see what that one looks like. And I'll probably get that one. Um, but I definitely like these little Pikachu figures. So I can't wait to see all the rest of them when they come out. And then the next thing that just came in today was um, Alec Azam from Presto Disney Pixar's short. I really like this um, design. I like that they put him in his hat and the hat and it looks like super cute. And I do like this um, short. Um, I really like that short. It was super cute. And I like bunnies. So I definitely wanted this one. And it would definitely go good with Bao and um, Knick Knack. So I definitely wanted to add those. And those are my probably my three favorite um, Disney Pixar shorts. I do like the other one with the old man playing chess. That's my other favorite one. Probably my main favorite one. But I don't know if Funko would be able to um, make a pop for that. But that would be pretty cool. I, I do like that short. So that was uh, those two uh, Funko items. And then let's move into the Funko Pops. Okay, so the first Funko Pop I have shown off before, but um, I just got it signed by um, Ross McQuan. So I thought I'd show off the signature in, in this um, haul video. Super cool. Um, I really wanted to get this signed um, by Ross. Especially since they haven't made the Aaron Funko Pop yet from The Walking Dead. So I thought this would be cool. And um, put it like the quote on the side. A soul for a soul. Which is really cool. Um, he went over it with a red sharpie because the paint pen that I had was not working. So that kind of sucked. But um, super nice guy. Super cool to have this sign. And I can't wait to find a good spot for it in my collection. And then, so the next pop I got from The Walking Dead, Talking Dead, is Chris Hardwick, the blood splattered one from the summer convention, um, 2018. Um, I thought this would go well with the other Chris Hardwick that I had. And you had a chance, I forget how many, had a chance to get a signed Chris Hardwick pop. So I thought I would, take a chance and get that but I thought that would go cool with my other Chris Hardwick one so that's really cool to have him in my collection then some of the common pops that I picked up I got um, Michael from the Lost Boys I thought he would go cool with my vampire David Funko pop that I got um, I don't think I'll get anything any of the other ones um, they were the Funko Shop exclusive. I didn't want to get that. Um, I don't know if I'll get Sam. I do want the regular of uh, the Common David because I like that he's holding the noodles. But um, for now, I just got those two. But I really like the Lost Boys um, Funko Pops in the movie. So really cool to add to my collection. 
Uh, another pop I got is Woody Woodpecker. I really like Woody Woodpecker, so I'm happy to finally get this one. Didn't get the chase, but that's okay. I just really like Woody Woodpecker, so it didn't matter. But it's really cool pop, really cute. They did a good job on Woody Woodpecker. Next, we got Nala from The Lion King. I really wanted Nala to go with my um, Simba Funko Pop that I got a while back. She's super cute. Really like her. Uh, I don't know if I want to get the new Simba. I was thinking about it because it looks super cute with him holding the bug in his hand. But I'm um, not sure yet. I might get Mufasa as well. I was going to get the t-shirt from Target, but then I decided not to. Um, I do like uh, the Luau, Timon, and Pumbaa. It's super cute. But I don't know if I'll get any more from this set. I really just wanted Nala to go with my Simba. So, maybe in the future I'll pick some up if they're on clearance or something. But super cute. Really like her. Next, we got Mickey. Steamboat Willie. My favorite, um, like, Mickey cartoon short. Super cute. I love Steamboat Willie. I always loved it when our teacher or our teacher played it in our class. But super cute. Really like that Funko Pop. And the last common pop that I got is Zuko from Avatar The Last Airbender. But I got the chase which was super exciting. I kind of just threw him in the cart. For, um, I think it was during box lunch um, money uh, when they had their lunch money and um, back in January. And I needed a little more to use it, so I just threw Zuko in. And um, wasn't expecting the chase, so that was exciting um, when I opened this order box. So definitely super cool. Um, I definitely still want Aang with Momo, the common one, and Appa. I, I want Appa as well. I don't know if I'll get the rest of the set, because I liked Avatar. But I only watched it for like maybe like a season or so um but I, I didn't uh stay like up to date with it when it was out and then I kind of just got lost and just kind of stopped watching it but I did like the beginning season it was definitely a really fun uh show but I really like the way Zuko looks super cool and then sticking with Avatar The Last Airbender, I also got Aang on Air Scooter from Hot Topic. When it restocked the one time, I was super happy to actually grab one. Um, you had to go through like the wish list or something. And thankfully somebody shared it on Reddit, so I was able to go through the link and um, add him to my cart. So I'm super happy to get him. Um, I didn't care if I got the chase or the common one. So I'm super, just super happy to have him in the collection and I can't wait to get the other two that I said that I wanted so hopefully I can get those soon but definitely some cool pops I really like how Funko did the Avatar Funko Pops sticking with the exclusives I grabbed um, the box lunch exclusives Lydia Dietz from Beetlejuice I really like this one um, from box lunch because he's in her like her regular black outfit um, when she first like, kind of arrives. And she's just super cool. I really like the way she looks. I almost bought her in the wedding dress from Hot Topic, but I just like this one more. And um, decided to pick her up. She looks super cute. And then sticking with Beetlejuice, I also got the Glow in the Dark Beetlejuice from Go Calendar, who's super cool. Really like the glow on him. He looks super awesome. Um, it came a little beat up. There's a little rift here in the back um, and tore, but that's okay. I don't really care. Um, but I really like this Funko Pop, so I'm happy to have a little Beetlejuice collection going now. Super cool Funko Pops. Sticking with the glow in the dark pops, I got another glow in the dark in recently. I actually just came in today. We got Genie with Lamp. Um, from the specialty series. Uh, I got it from Ferrera Market. Um, 
they were having like a sale or something, and I had a five dollar off coupon, so I decided to use it towards him. And I'm super happy he's here, and it's really cool that they put it in a Funko Pop protector. I really like the glow on the genie; it looks so cool. But definitely a cool pop, and I'm super happy to finally got here. So I can't wait to move my Disney collection around so I can put him with my Aladdin um, set. And then the next pop that I got is a BAM exclusive, and it's Harry Potter, Seamus Finnegan. I've been wanting to get Seamus for since probably it came out, and um, I missed it the first time. I really didn't have the money at the time. And then I think it came up around January, and then um, I was going to buy him, and then I decided to wait, and then when I went back, he was sold out again. So I decided to go on a couple of weeks ago, and uh, I saw he was in stock, so I just grabbed him. So I'm super happy to add him to my Harry Potter collection. And he's just so cute. I really like the way they did his Funko Pop. Last two Funko Pops. So from the Funko Shop, we have the Colorways Mickey Mouse. I really liked um, some of the color uh, Mickey Mouses um, that they had. But this one is probably my favorite. I love the blue and the purple coloring on him and it just looks really cool. I almost got the blue and green one but I decided to pass it on it but then when I saw this one I was like I, I really like this color scheme so I decided to get that Mickey Mouse. Um, I think there's only one more Mickey Mouse that I would like to get and that would be one of the um, GameStop ones um, with him like the gamer Mickey. Um, I don't know which one I want to get the sitting one or the standing one, but I definitely want to get one of those in the future. And um, the last thing that I got was uh, Buzz the Bee from Honey Nut Cheerios from the Funko Shop. I did miss out on it on the Funko Shop. I got stuck in the queue, but I saw it on Macari for a decent price, so I decided to grab it. I just really like this Funko Pop. And I do eat Honey Nut Cheerios, like, every day. I just really like the way this pop looks, so I'm happy to have it in my collection. So there was my Funko Pop haul. Um, or collectible haul, I should say. And, um, if you liked it, give this video a thumbs up. Feel free to leave a comment down below and hit that subscribe button. Bye!